Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to another video here. So we actually have some breaking news here. We actually have the the synopsises or synopses, I guess is how you pronounce it. Four episodes, nine and ten, and um, oh man, it's it's actually pretty crazy. It does actually confirm that there's going to be a pretty big time jump, or not pretty big. I mean, I guess within the current story, it's kind of big. I'm not talking months or like a, years or anything like that, but just in terms of what's actually going on, it's, it is a pretty big time jump because like that means episode nine is definitely going to be the conclusion to something. And uh, I, I don't like the sounds of that. It really does seem like there's going to be some pretty major deaths here. And I think there's going to be at least three of them. So before we go any further, obviously make sure to be a subscriber if you want more Walking Dead content like this. Also, there's a new episode of the podcast now out. It's available on YouTube. Uh, the link is down below. It's the podcast I have. It's called the Forest State Podcast. We talk about the Walking Dead trailer. We talk about some Walking Dead trivia. I mean, we go into a, quite a bit of stuff with the Walking Dead. And so if you're interested in that, I mean, definitely go follow us there. We're going to be reviewing every episode, obviously, every week as it comes out. But I, yeah, I really want to get into this. So first of all, thank you, Ben. Uh, ben is, is a mod on uh, on on Discord. I almost said Twitter. He's a great mod on our Discord, and he actually notified me of this. Um, so this is Kirsten Akuna actually posted the, the synopsis for both episodes here. And and so we're going to go through, I mean, we already talked about the episode title. So episode nine is titled No Other Way. It's uh, directed by uh, John Emile and written by Corey Reed. Uh, I don't recognize John Emile. He might be a new director, but Corey Reed, he's been with the show for a very long time, has written a lot of great episodes. Um, the synopsis for episode nine, and this is the, the sort of the scary part here with all of it, reads, Hellfire rains down on those at Meridian as every fight with the Reapers proves to be a brutal battle. At home in Alexandria, the violent rainstorm rages on as walkers continue to pour in, threatening everyone's safety, including Judith and Gracie. So this is something that I'm actually I'm really worried about in terms of certain characters here. So when you look at the trailer overall, we don't see certain characters in certain locations like like, we don't see Gracie at all. Gracie's not in the trailer. And, and, like, yeah, she's not in it a lot. You know, she's not in the show a lot. But it, it is a little scary to think that she could potentially die here in, in this episode. And if you think of the situation that they're in, Judith and Gracie are, are they're trapped in a basement where it's starting to flood a lot. And, you know, and they've talked a lot about Aaron going through some very, very, uh, like, very hard stuff. And I really wonder if he is going to lose Gracie and if it's really going to push him over the edge. Because Aaron and, and, and Gabriel are both characters that have been obviously been pushed over the edge. A lot for different reasons. You know, Gabriel, I think he has this inner turmoil with his faith. And, and that makes him, you know, very or tries to be very confident in certain situations. And I mean, we saw what he did to Dante. And it, if he has to do it, he's going to do it. And it's just sort of, it's mental with him, right? Like, obviously, he shouldn't be doing these things because he doesn't believe in doing these things. But he's doing it which is causing him to lose his faith. And there's just a, there's a, you know, he's going on a very scary path, but Aaron is as well. You know, Aaron has been pretty pissed off and I think fed up with almost everybody because it seems like no one wants to take care of Alexandria. You know, I think he was pretty pissed off that everybody left to go to Meridian. And I really wonder if that's going to play a role with, with certain things. Like, is he going to be pissed off at certain people for just coming in and doing this? And I think the one character I could totally see him not liking is Maggie. You know, I could I could see him being like, you just came here and, and you left. And, and I really believe that you just came here to get reinforcements to take back your old place because you wanted revenge. And because of that, you know, we didn't have as much people here, which resulted in my daughter's death. Like, I really wonder if it's going to get really complex like that with him, because Aaron, again, he's going down this really dark path. So anyways, that's the whole thing with Gracie right now. It seems like Gracie is a potential death because we don't see her later on. Um, You know, they've teased Aaron really going through a lot. and remember. Angela Kang has said that when the season starts, when part two starts, there's going to be a lot of heartbreak. So I really wonder if we're actually getting to that point. I think it's going to be, oh man. And then the other death, obviously, is Leah, which would be really sad. Um, yeah, I, I mean, I know not to a lot of people, but I personally would be really sad to lose Leah. And then there's also Elden, which would be really heartbreaking. And so before we go into, into why I think those three deaths are going to happen in episode nine, let's go into episode 10 and read the synopsis for this. Because this sort of, this is kind of why, and this is why it makes it a little scary. Episode 10 is titled New Haunts, and it, it's directed by John O'Meal again, but it is written by Mag Magali, Mag I can't actually read that, Lozanos, I apologize if I got your name wrong, I, I, I butcher names all the time, it's, it's always going to happen. But the synopsis for episode 10 reads, 
Weeks have passed since the Alexandrians arrived at the Commonwealth. They adjust to their classifications, their assigned jobs, and the oddity of making new friends. So weeks have passed. So obviously, I, I definitely think it's probably like six weeks, something like that. It's, you know, it's not going to be like 13 or like, I don't know. It's not going to be a long time. Like it's going to be more than three weeks, more than a month for sure. Five to six, seven weeks. It's going to be probably in that time frame, which practically confirms that episode nine is going to be a very big episode, right? We're, we're going to see a lot of stuff go down. A lot of big deaths, right? We're going to see, obviously, Aaron potentially lose Gracie. We're going to see Elden likely die. We're going to see Leah die. And then they're going to go back to Alexandria. We're going to get shots like this because obviously here in the synopsis for episode 10, it says that weeks have passed since the Alexandrians arrived at the Commonwealth. So it basically confirms that episode 9 ends with them, you know, discovering the Commonwealth, this and that. And then, yeah, in episode 10, it's just sort of we pick up weeks later and we see what's going on. So it, it is, it's crazy. Like I wasn't expecting a time jump like this. I didn't think, you know, I was wondering how things were going to go, but what this tells me is, you know, like what's the use of a time jump in a television show or movie? It's usually to like reset things a little bit. Right. And, and so that confirms to me that episode nine, th that Reaper arc is going to end so badly, like, you know, not badly in terms of writing, but badly in terms of there's going to be a lot of heartbreak and death. It's going to be a crazy arc, I think. I think the conclusion to it is going to make part one a little bit better. You know, if they kill off Leah, if, you know, that storm that they're going through and, and you know, them struggling in Alexandria ends up with, with Gracie dying and Aaron losing her. And if we get a really heartbreaking scene there with that, you know, maybe she got bit or something like that. And then, you know, I, I, did I say Elden? I can't remember what I just said, but Elden or, or Leah's death. That's obviously going to be really shocking and really insane. And I, I just think that how do you go from there straight into the Commonwealth arc? You know, especially I think writing wise, it's such a crazy transition. Well, if you do like weeks later or something like that, and then you see them sort of adapting there a little bit, it, it's easy to do that. And, and so like, you know, this is scary. Like this is honestly really scary. It's so scary to think that certain characters could die. And I don't want Aaron to lose his daughter. I, I really don't. But there hasn't been that amount of darkness in the show in a very long time. And we like, obviously Angela King has been teasing this for a while with Aaron. Like we've been really going in this direction for quite a while. And I think it would be such an insane moment to happen that I, I don't know what's going to happen with Aaron. You know, I, I'm really I really do worry for the guy. And I really wonder if like maybe instead of Magna or Gabriel, who gets that Commonwealth death, what if it is Aaron? What if he just snaps? Right. Like it's it is scary. It is honestly really scary. And I just I hope that in, in the end he is going to be fine. But this time jump is making me second guess it. And and honestly, other than that, I don't really have any other proof for for why I believe this, why I think that that uh, Gracie is going to die. But I just it kind of feels like something that is about to happen. You know, it, it really does feel like Gracie is going to go. It's going to cause a lot for Aaron because just because like I feel like something needs to happen there. Um, Alden, it just kind of seems like he's going to die. If they're doing a time jump of weeks and they don't even find Alden and then he's not even in the trailer at all. He's not seen anywhere. Maggie's gone. Like it literally, I just don't think he's a character anymore. I think he's gone. And Leah also is completely absent. I think that's three deaths there Two for sure. Gracie could be one of those. And I think that that could be the most shocking. Besides that, I think, you know, Connie and Daryl's reunion could be something that could be pretty crazy. But obviously, it just seems like all the heartbreak and the tragedy that happens, you know, like it doesn't really matter. The reunion's really going to mean nothing because of that. They'll see each other. They'll be happy because of that. But they're going to feel so conflicted that they don't want to celebrate any of that. And so weeks later, they'll be at the Commonwealth, blah, blah, blah. You know, I, I think Daryl and them are just going to they'll just be friends sort of thing. Honestly, I don't think much is going to happen between Daryl and Connie. So for people who thought that reunion would bring them together, I just, I don't see it happening, especially because Daryl's going to be leaving. And again, I just kind of, in general, I think Daryl's going to be uh, a loner. <laughs> like, I don't think they want to connect him to any character. I think they just want to keep him single for, forever. And eventually one day there's going to be an, another love interest. Like, I, I feel like they just want to kind of keep doing that. But, you know, I, I think that, yeah, it's going to be a nice refresher to actually get into the Commonwealth stuff to see all that. But I think that, yeah, there's going to be quite a bit of heartbreak that that pops up right away. And I'm, uh, yeah, I'm a little scared for, for Aaron. And I'm just thinking about it. Like, you kill off Leah, you kill, kill off Alden. That's going to be sad, but sort of expected at this point. I think if you lose Gracie, 
and what that's going to do for Elden, especially since Elden's the main character in Alexandria right now, trying to keep everything going, right? He's the one who's really fighting to keep this place alive. And that's why I always said, like, he deserves to be the, the true leader of Alexandria. You know, like, I, I think about everything that he's gone through to keep this place together. It just, it, it makes sense. And I just, yeah, I don't know. That's kind of what I think right now. I do think these three characters could die. I think it would be really heartbreaking. Um, I mean, honestly... It almost makes the Reaper arc a little bit more worth it, a little bit more exciting if Gracie dies, if those all three characters die, because it's this really crazy, tragic ending. It's sort of the aftermath of, of the Whisperer War, right? Like stuff that they're dealing with because of that. Um, yeah, I mean, just where, where do they go from there, right? It's I um, yeah, honestly, I, uh, I I'm kind of shocked by this. I'm shocked that they're doing a time jump of weeks. I was expecting maybe something to happen. But it's it's almost confirmation that whatever this story is going to be, it's going to end very tragically. And then they run into the Commonwealth, and then it's basically like, yeah. So, I don't know. But anyways, post all your thoughts down below. Hope you guys all enjoyed the video. What are your death predictions for Episode 9? Hope you guys all enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys in the next one.